guys welcome back to ar creations hope you are liking the content uploaded in my channel if you like the contents please like comment and subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to receive more notifications about my channel so today's video is about uh, the best online video editing software so i can't say uh, it's a video editing software but it's a video editing platform which you can use for editing or your video or you, if you want to come up with a good presentation to your clients okay so let's jump into the video so the video is called simplified video editing so if you are clicking on here you can see something called simplified.co so click on the free online video cutter click on that so from the way it looks like it's not something like you have it's basically created for video cutting purposes but it's for actually creating the videos okay so let me show you the pricing model of this particular option so it doesn't mean that the, you have to pay for the services so just the pricing model the differences so we have a free plan which we will be using for now and we have uh, different plans like small teams businesses and enterprise so enterprise is the highest topmost version where we can, you will be assisted with the clients from this particular enterprises and uh, they will be assisting you in creating your business presentations and automate your slides and all those things so let's jump into the video by signing up for the free profile so once you click on here so you'll get an option to either log in to your account through Google or you have to enter your credentials. So since I have already logged into Google, I, I can open my account right away. So you, you, once you are logging into uh, the simplified online platform for the first time, you'll get full access trial up to seven days. So after seven days, what's going to happen here is the, there will be limit resources available for you for editing your videos so for the first seven days you will have full access full access in the sense uh, after making, making your videos there won't be any watermark or any payment which you have to do okay so let's jump on to the video if you suppose if you are going, going to make a presentation or a video for your youtube platform so for that you have to select a particular resolution as well as if you are doing a video for your instagram uh, platform then you have to choose a different resolution so for that uh, first of all you have to click on new project click on new project under that you will have different options like if you want to do a facebook post if you want to do a youtube thumbnail or if you want to do something like blog post or instagram post then you can select it accordingly okay so for now we will be selecting this option youtube thumbnails so you can see the resolution which will be 1280 into 720 pixel okay so you click over here so you can see this is the resolution of the video which we will be using for creating video files in youtube okay so here, if you can see that there are several options available which is first one is called my assets so last time I have uh, made a video on airlines. So the data which I have combined or collated from various websites or various platforms, I have put it across in my laptop. So whatever assets I have to upload from my end, my end in the sense it can be the laptop which we are using for making the video, what will contents you have to upload, you can upload it here. Okay. So that's all about my assets. Coming to the templates, so we have several templates available in this particular application. Like if you are building a video for social media or if you're building something for games and entertainment purposes, or if you're something uh, creating any presentation for uh, advertising or your business model, then you have various templates available. Okay, so in most of the cases I have seen people creating uh, templates from blank so they were not going to select any of the templates over here so in this case i going to select a blank template so once the blank template is chosen the next option which we have is text okay so if you want to add header heading text and subheading text and the body of the 
slide you can you can add it accordingly okay so the next one is a very important as well as attractive section of this particular platform which is called media okay so media in the sense you guys will think like what if i am downloading the media from this particular platform and putting it across youtube channel and uh, the youtube says that there are corporate com contents in your video for which they are taking down your video okay so here it won't happen because you know the fact that there are several websites like unsplash pixabay pixels etc etc offers free pictures or free videos which can use anywhere in any platform any platforms okay so here if you if you want to use any of the pictures over here it won't create any copyright issues okay and if you want to use videos or gifs or audios from this particular application you are free to use it because there are no copyright or patents which has been taken against it okay so the, the most of the people use video section because uh, there are several videos which has been posted from different websites which is for free of use okay but uh, most of the cases people see that in ps written story blocks and if you are choosing a video so you can see that uh, that video has watermark of story block okay so how to avoid it there is no way to avoid it you have to make a payment but if you don't want to see any watermark on your video the op the best option is to select pixabay so pixabay offers free videos which you can be used anywhere in your video making or presentation okay so likewise i'm going to select one of the videos over here so before that i'm going to delete this video from the page which i'm going to create it so i'm going to click on the media again go to videos select pixabay and i'm going to select one video so i'm selecting this so it came onto the screen so let me just expand the video to make sure that it fills up the screen yeah so it fit so if you want to play the video you can see it how the video comes in so if you are making any videos about facebook social platforms twitter updates pinterest updates you can use this video as a background okay so and if you want to set the timings for this video you can extend the timings over here so you have seen that the video has a timing it's a timing of 20 seconds okay so you can put it as 20 seconds over here and suppose if you are doing some some video about instagram updates so the next option available for you is called text okay so once you click on this the heading text will be available so you can just mention instagram updates and if accordingly or according to the background which you are selecting you have to change the font color as well as the font size okay so you click over here here you can change the font color so since it is dark in nature i'm going to select white color so and i'm going to increase the size of it and make sure that it's block bold and you can close this so you can you can get a better view so put it across here so you can choose instagram updates over here so you can i'm just going to extend it so you can see that it will come in the dark it's dark most positions so it will be visible to every people who will be watching this video okay so let's just play the video before playing it i'm just going to click it back so we have a option called animate okay here is the option for animate click on the animations once after that if you want to choose any of the animations for this particular writings or the heading so you can select it so i'm going to select wipe in and if you want to decrease the speed now the speed is set to normal so if you want to set the speed you can set it as slow and if you want something from the bottom or from the right or from the left you can set it accordingly so once after that you can close this 
And if you want to upload any pictures or any such things to the slide, you can also do that, free to do that accordingly. So once you click on play, so you can see that the, how the video plays, right? So if you want to view the complete video, how it looks like, how whether it come came out according to our requirement. So just click on the preview button. In the preview button, you can see that there is a new window which has been opened right now. So click on the play button. So this is how your video will look like. So if you want to adjust the video in May to make sure that the video is more focused on the phone and the symbols or icons which is coming out of the phone, you, you can enlarge the video accordingly. Okay, so once you are satisfied with the video, you can close this. And if you want to add more contents, likewise for if you want to add more slides to it, click over here. So you do an option called add clip part. So click on here. Again, if you want to add more videos to it, you can add it. You can click on this. Enlarge the video. So after that, if you want to enlarge the timing, you can do it. So 20 seconds. And if you want to add more, suppose if you want to add photos to it, that means if I'm just for the time sake, I'm adding this particular photo, photos to it. And if you want to animate the photos, and if you want to put the timing swell across to the screen to make sure that the photos come after some time, you can put it like this. So I'm setting 13 minutes, right? So I'm setting this. So I'll, I don't want this to collide with that. So I'm gonna just click over here and I'll put this up to 10. So maximum, the maximum timings that the video will be played is 10. So I will put this as a picture, which has to be played after this video. So click over here. So I'm gonna put just 10 to make sure that there is continuity in the options which we are selected. So once it's done, so you can just go to preview and see like how this works. So it will both display the first slide as well as the second slide. So you can choose which, which slide you want a preview on. So this will be the video which you have made. So you can see that after 10 seconds, what happens? The video will stop playing and the picture will come in automatically. So this way you can create a lot of videos, a lot of presentations for your business, for your social platforms like YouTube, Instagram, etc. And once the video is ready and you are ready to export it, click over export. And in the export button, you can see that there are several options available. One is PNG, which is a high quality image option. JPEG is a small file size image. And third one is video. And the fourth one is an animated GIF. Okay, so most of the cases will, we, as we are looking forward for a video, select the video option. And after that, click on export now. So once this is done, it will take nearly 15 minutes for getting this thing ready because there are a lot of videos which has been put down onto this application. So depending upon your internet speed, this will get downloaded. And after downloading, don't you don't have to worry that there will be watermarks like other online applications there will be no watermarks no payments that you have to do for getting this video out okay so try using this application hope you like it so if you like this uh, content please like comment and subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to receive more notifications about my channel
Have a great day. Stay safe and stay healthy.